Hi everyone and welcome to Ryan Talks. Today I've got the latest Marvel movie review, Black Widow, right here. Just starting off with some movie information, this is rated PG-13. It runs 133 minutes or 2 hours and 13 minutes. We got our four main stars, Rachel Wise, David Harbour, Florence Puck, and of course Scarlett Johansson as the Black Widow. This movie was released in 92 countries all from july 3rd to the 9th and filmed in 16 countries you can find it on disney plus or any movies near you all right so for so long i have actually been waiting for this movie thanks to COVID, our best friend it was delayed until obviously this month and i have been reading the same taglines same plot um, on IMBD where it's just her quests between Infinity Wars and Civil Wars and we all know that she kicks butt, we all know that she is good with guns and bringing down her target. Let's be real. So to hear that kind of um, synopsis, I was like, this is going to be another movie, great Marvel movie action where we're expecting um, Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow in costume, in suit, ready to do another assassination or protect the world or protect a leader or, you know, neutralize a threat. That's where my mind was. And I had a shock, which is always good in movies, that that's not what the movie is about because I was only reading one to two sentence um, plot line from IMBD versus other critics versus um, watching the trailer because I didn't want to get anything spoiled. So I was shocked what the movie was really about. In the movie Black Widow, we come to understand and grasp who Natasha Romanoff was before becoming Black Widow. Um, she grew up with a dream family and without a biological family, though, spoiler number one, she finds information about her biological mother, but not her father, as how I understood the story. Her sister was like six to eight and Natasha was younger when she first was chosen or selected um, to be in, put into the widow program. And this, when I'm sitting in the theater, was very confusing to me because I didn't understand um, how this was relating to an assassination or some kind of protection detail when the movie for like half of the beginning or half of the movie actually is about her background from childhood. Um, Natasha leaves a blank slate with shield sort of ish and makes a secret discreet life up in Norway and then she is found but not for her but for a different reason that I will actually keep secret for those people who have not seen the movie yet um, and then that moment great blow up scene great fighting scene even after probably months of not fighting when she still got it she still got the guns um but that led her to her next mission i was like this is where it's gonna start what i've been waiting for i loved seeing her in budapest it just was going back to marvel days and just kicking butt after that for me personally it kind of came down and this was another point where i did not understand that this was about becoming Black Widow and who Black Widow is. Now I realize, like how some of us always realize, how does a ninja, how does an assassin, how does a spy become who they are? Turns out they give up a lot. It's from family, it's from having a life that they want to choose from themselves. It's about having, you know, a settlement, a house, roots, where you can just go. Um, I don't believe Natasha had that. She had her family taken away and once the avengers kind of broke apart she was once again lonely overall i really admire all the detail especially romanoff to me feels like she's able to feel again and this was another step for an evolution of her 
to be a more of a person and than anything that could have happened even when she starts falling in love with the hulk i'm going to end this um review with did anyone think the same way as me that this was just gonna be another action movie where she's either gonna kill someone or protect someone i've got your next target thought i'd hand deliver it maybe you'd like a shot at the man responsible for your sister's death 